No, no I'm, I'm he's follow, speechless. I'm no. just following that. When he's your enemy is making a fool of himself, just let him talk. Just carry on talking. You are he's asking a smart question from a jahil person. It's written, right? I'll get it up right now. And if he doesn't want to answer this, he has conceded. Alhamdulillah. God goes to the toilet, yeah? He has conceded. <laughs> Isaiah, right? Okay, God yeah. is speaking. Okay. And God is saying, listen to me, Jacob, Israel, who I am called. I am he. I am the first and the last. In the okay. Old Testament, God is speaking. Yes. In the Surah 57, yeah. Allah says he is the first and the last. Okay. And in Revelation 22, verse 18, Jesus says, I am the first and the last. Okay. Open, the I, open Isaiah, read it for me, please. Okay, but these are not three individual fingers. Look, not creator. Here it is. In Isaiah, it says, listen to me. Can you just hold this for a second? Okay, open it. It says, listen to me, Jacob, Israel, who I have, who I have called. I am the first and I am the last. Do you mind if we go there? It's a bit loud. Okay. What's your name, brother? Uh, Ali, right? Maybe. Ali. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a nice conversation. Yeah, yeah, let's have a nice conversation. I don't want to go into it. Uh, let's go here. You're gonna have problems changing the face. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, he's fine. Sorry. Sorry, it's just a bit louder. I don't, I don't want to hear it. Wait on. Yeah, carry on. Sorry. Yeah, in the Old Testament, in the book of Isaiah, right? Yeah. Isaiah, uh, wait. Yeah, in Isaiah, it says 48 verse 12. Listen to me, Jacob, who I have called. I am he. I am the first and I am the last. This is God saying in the Old Testament. And in the New Testament, Jesus Christ says in Revelation 22 verse 13. Yeah. He says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. And in, in the Quran, in Surah 57, Allah says, I am the first and the last as well. Okay. So we can see this is a divine attribute. Um, okay. This is, this okay. is a divine attribute called um, okay. Jesus Christ. Revelations, what is the verse? 22 verse 13. Revelation 22 verse 13, yeah? One minute, sorry, I just called my friend. Okay. Okay, can you open Hebrews chapter 7, verse 3, please? But can I just call my friend with the camera? Because it's too clear. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. sure. Uh, he claims in Revelations, Jesus says, I'm the Alpha and Omega. Oh, the Alpha and Omega. Thing. Yeah, so it's cool. I said Hebrews chapter 7, verse 3. We've got Malchus Edith. We're going to add him to the God list. No, what are you saying, brother? Yeah, no problem. Okay, you got your cameraman? Okay, all right, no problem. All right. So your claim is that because he says he's Alpha and Omega, yes. that makes him divine. That makes him divine, yes. Okay, no problem. Are you? Are you? Uh, how long have you been a Christian? Just a couple years. Not, not couple so years. What was you before? Muslim. You was a Muslim before. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, can you recite Surah Kawthar for me? Surah Kawthar. Kawthar. Yeah. Inna tuina kawthar fa salli rabbi ka wanta inna shani ka huwa kawthar. Okay, good. So let me just get this right. You left Islam for Christianity. Yes. Okay, all right. So let's just get this right. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay. So, Alpha and Omega makes him God. When he says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and perfect, the last. Perfect, perfect. Right, okay, perfect. That's fine. Hebrews chapter 7, Jesus verse 3, God, please. So, when you say you were a Muslim, was you a, a, a Sunni Muslim or an Ahmadi? Sunni, Sunni. You're a Sunni Muslim, yeah? Yes, yeah, a, lot, a lot of people can't take it. I, I, yeah. I left Islam. You, you have to be out of your mind. I'm, I'm, a Muslim for, I'm a Muslim for 11 years. You have to be out of your mind. To go from oneness of God yeah. to believe that God is a man. You have to be out of your mind. No, we, Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. And I know that you have zero grounds, but I just want to find out what's the reason. Okay. So let's we're gonna go with your argument. Okay. So Alpha and Omega, no problem. Now go okay. to Hebrews chapter 7, verse 3. In Hebrews chapter 7, verse 3, it says, He is without father or mother. Wait, 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 wait. Let's 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 go, go, go two verses before. It says, for this Melchizedek, King of Salem, King of Peace, that means King of Peace, right? Priest of the Most High God met Abraham, returned from the slaughter of kindred and blessed him. Mm. And Mosh, now your argument is going to be. Mosh well, carry on, carry on, carry on, carry on, carry on. Mosh was Jesus Christ. Carry on, carry on, carry on. He is Jesus, though. Carry on, carry on, carry on. Carry okay, on. and to him Abraham apportioned a tenth part of everything. He is first by translation of his name, King of Righteousness. And then he's also King of Salem, that's King of Peace, Peace. which is Jesus Christ. Carry on, Old carry Testament, on, carry on. Mosh is Christ. Carry on, carry on. I don't need you to see it, carry on. Carry without on. father or mother or genealogy. One second, one second, one second, one second. 
king of peace. Yes. He has no mother. Yes. He has no father. Okay. Did Jesus have a mother? So when Moses did, did Jesus have a mother? When Moses did Jesus have a mother? When Moses did Jesus have a mother? Did Jesus have a mother? Jesus at that time did Jesus have a mother? But in the New Testament, did Jesus have a mother? Yes. Man, I'm asking you a question. Was it? Did Jesus have a mother? In his human nature, yes. Okay, good. So Moses, does he have a father? Okay. Does he have a father? No. Does he have a mother? But Jesus in his divine nature does, does he have a mother? Have a biological father does he have a mother? mother? Does Malchus no. have a mother? Good. No. Does he have a father? And Jesus doesn't have a biological mother. Or we'll try again. We'll try again. Does nature. he have a mother? In his divine nature, does he have a mother? Does he have a mother? Does he have a mother? Does Malchus have a mother? In his divine nature, that's Jesus. Does Malchus have a mother? That's Jesus. Does Malchus have a mother? Does Malchus have a mother? Does Malchus have a mother? Such as the angel of the Lord. I know, We're going to get there. We're going to get there. Slowly but surely. Look, slowly but surely, we're going to get there. I know. I know. I know. We're going to get it out of you. We're going to get out of you. Okay. Okay. Melchizedek, does he have a mother? Melchizedek is Jesus Christ, so he does not have does a mother. Does Melchizedek have a mother? So when Melchizedek was... Let me explain to you. So when Melchizedek I'm asking a simple to, question. I'm asking a simple question. When Melchizedek you was a, you look, to look, Abraham look, in the Old Testament, look, I'm that was fasting, Jesus Christ. I'm fasting. You're having a panic attack. He didn't have a mother. I'm but fasting, in the New Testament, you're yes, having a panic attack. Listen to me. Yes. Does he have a mother? Melchizedek. Simple question. I told you and I said to you no. Good. Does he have a father? No. Thank you. Now, does he have a beginning? Moshezedek, he's eternal. Does he have a beginning? That's Jesus Christ, I told Does you. Does he have a beginning? Moshezedek is Jesus uh, Christ. John Does he have a beginning? He is Jesus Christ, I have told Does you. Does he have a beginning? No. John 1 -1. What does John 1 1 say? Does he have a beginning? What does John 1 1 say? I said it to you. Moses does he have a beginning? Is Jesus Christ. Does he have a Moses beginning? Moses Man, am I speaking Moses a different Moses language? Jesus Christ. Does he have a beginning? Who? Moses Moses said it. I said to you, no, he's eternal. Okay, good. Does Jesus he have Christ. an end? Does he have an end? No, they're eternal. Okay, good. Now, now, A, B, C, see yourself out of it. Spot me, spot me, spot me. That's right. Anyways, now, look, he has no mother. He has no father. No, no, he has games. no beginning. He has no end. Now, now. Man, let me finish. Jesus came my friend, let me prophets, finish. Let me speak. The angel of the Lord, my friend. Bush. My friend. And when Moses my friend. Was come to <laughs> let me Abraham, finish. That was Jesus Christ. Let, let me finish. That was Jesus Christ. Let me finish. Now, now. His argument was the following. Jesus said, I'm Alpha and Omega. So he's God. I said, okay, no, but let's go with it. We go to Hebrews chapter 7, verse 3. Melchizedek. That's Does Jesus. He have a... That is Jesus. I've told you so many times. That is Jesus. Type, type. So, I said very clearly, Melchizedek, this is, this is where they get in trouble. He has no mother, he has no father. He has no beginning, he has no end. Is Melchizedek God? Let me explain to you. Is Melchizedek God? Is Melchizedek God? At that time, is Melchizedek God? In his divine nature, is Melchizedek God? Is Melchizedek God? In the New Testament, yes, he did have a mother. Is Melchizedek God? In human nature. Okay, Melchizedek is he God? Is Jesus Christ? Jesus look, look. Ruled himself as look, Melchizedek is Melchizedek God? In the Old Testament, is Melchizedek God? He was Jesus Christ. Yes. Okay, good. Now. Jesus is God, yes. the Holy Spirit is God, the Father is God, now we have Melchizedek. You, no, 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 no. The listen, Trinity is now four. Saying, One second. You Allah's the only thing that we have four in Islam is no, four wives. Black now, can you, listen to me. Now, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Now, Jesus, Holy Spirit, God, and Melchizedek. Now, now he's... Do you see why? Do you see why he finds it so hard? Now, I'm asking you a simple question. Now, ask you a question. Now, you have to claim that Melchizedek is God, which you did, is good. Now, you have four gods, not three gods. So now, wait, ask you a question. Your, wait, now, wait, 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 I want to ask you a simple question now. I want to ask you a simple question now. I want to ask you a simple question now. According to your belief, God you Almighty. Is God. Did you pray now, to him? Yeah. Now, now, Why do you pray to Muhammad? Now, now, alhamdulillah, it's clear. You do. Atayatullahi wa salawatu wa ta'ala. Aslam alayka, ayyubayu, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Listen, listen, you are a... Aslam alayna wa ala ibadillahi wa salihi. You are a jahil. You are praying to Muhammad as well. You are a jahil. That's how I know you was. You never even understood Islam. Now, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. My friend, Abu Jahl knew Arabic. Abu Jahl knew Arabic. Abu Jahl knew Arabic. Aslam alayna wa ala ibadillahi wa salihi. Abu Jahl, one second. Abu Jahl knew Arabic. So when you do Arabic, Abu Jahl is in the fire, so I don't know what you're trying to impress by speaking Arabic. No, no, because you're praying to Muhammad. Listen, listen, that means, you, that means zero. You're to so now, that means zero. Now, you're praying to listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Listen to me, listen to me. Listen, listen, listen. Okay. okay, so you claim you was a Muslim and you claim we worship uh, the Kaaba. You're yes. a Jahil. You're an absolute you you Muhammad, You are a five star, great A, Jahil, ignorant. No, no, no. Any Muslims here? Do we, we're proud of that. Do we, do we worship the Kaaba? Oh, we're proud of that. Alhamdulillah, we're proud of that. We're proud of that. The capital punishment. Alhamdulillah, we're proud of that. What? Alhamdulillah. Would he kill me? Alhamdulillah, I'm proud of it. Would he kill me? Alhamdulillah, I'm proud of it. Would he kill me? I'm proud of it. I'm an ex Muslim. What are you going to do, bruv? I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? 
I'm an ex I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? But what do you want? I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? I'm an ex I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? Relax. I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm proud of it. Okay, okay. Alhamdulillah. I'm an ex Alhamdulillah. What are you going to do? Alhamdulillah. 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 Alhamdulillah, bro. You have a problem. You have a problem. Alhamdulillah, bro. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, you have a problem. You have a problem. No, no, no. I love you. I love you in Christ. I don't love you, brother. You love me. I don't love you. I don't love you. Okay, I forgive you. So, so he, 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 he thinks I'm the apologetic Muslim. He thinks, he thinks I'm the apologetic Muslim. Listen, Alhamdulillah. Listen, they think. Yes, they think, no. Would he kill me? Listen to me. Listen to me. There is the capital punishment in Islam. Would he kill me? There's yes, the capital no. punishment. Let me tell you. In Islam, there's the capital punishment. Yes. If you live in the Sharia, I will have popcorn and I'll be watching it. You'll kill me. Listen, I, did I say I'll kill him? Thank you. Now, there is the capital punishment in Islam, and I'm telling you. I am proud of it, bro. You're proud of that. I am proud of it, bro. Alhamdulillah, bro. To forgive you, you think I'm here to shoot up my religion? You think I'm my religion? Alhamdulillah, bro. Are you proud? Alhamdulillah. Jesus to Muhammad. So now, Jesus you worship, you worship a man. Jesus to love. Now, and you're telling your Muhammad listen, listen, listen. to kill an apostate. Nobody buys this anymore. Is that what Jesus told love. Apostate? Jesus said love. In Luke 19, verse 27, he teaches love. Man, get out of here, man. Man, get out. These arguments are gone. They're 10 years ago. It doesn't work. It's people are 3, coming to Islam. Do you know why people are coming to Islam? Because of its intolerance. To everybody else. Right, we're intolerant. What are you going to do? Us. What are you going to do? We're intolerant. You Alhamdulillah. And this is why. You know what's the interesting? Disciples of Christ are they use moral else. arguments yeah. and people are coming to Islam so be because of us, it. Ali. So now, you, have to follow you us. believe God is a man? In Surah do you believe? That's why is Jesus God? Is Jesus God? Yes. Okay. Is God, yeah? Did Jesus go to the toilet? In his human nature, yes, because he has to represent us. So he has to do a Under the man. Under the Check this out. 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 God, God had to come and represent us by going to the toilet. Can I tell you why? Can I tell you why? Because. Let me say yeah. So God went to the toilet to represent us. Because us human beings cannot live a perfect example or prophets or sinners. So, so God, God has to come down because he was So God has to come down. And he was the only one that So God had to mankind. come down. I would have been like, go he toilet. Was the only one that so he had to go toilet. Us. He was made like us. Yes. Do you know, let me tell you something. Do you know, do you know what's reference? interesting? Look, look. This may like this us. Why, look, yes. look. They're so Just hurt. The they can't let me talk. No, no, the prophet can live a now. The prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The prophet Muhammad, look, look. In our religion, in our religion, in our religion, God didn't come down. The prophet, peace be upon him, is an example we follow. You guys follow a God that went to the toilet. Why do you follow a sinner? So you, you follow, follow a God that went to the toilet. Jesus Christ, he was still so God went to the toilet. Muhammad, who are, who so God went to the toilet. Allah every single so night. let me get this right. God went to the toilet. In his human nature, he had two natures. How do you, nature and listen, listen. Yes. You need to in squat. Two listen, two listen. you need to squat to go to the toilet, yeah? No, no, Did no, God do that? That's not a tradition, mate. I didn't do that. I didn't squat. So one second. How, how do you go to the toilet? One second. How do you defecate? One second. He defecates in a special way. One second. How do you go to the toilet? We will squat. Do you not squat? So you would rather follow a sinner than a sinless person? I would rather follow someone. Let me tell you something. I do not follow, I don't follow a God that went to the toilet. He had two natures. Did you realize that? He had two natures. So what's the first nature? So first nature is going to the toilet. When he came down, he humbled himself. The first nature is going to the toilet. So he had to do the things that we did. Bro, you know what? They don't even need this stuff. Let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. They just need to hear Christianity. You are a very child. The reason why God... You're an ignoramus, bro. Okay, so let me explain to you. You're an absolute ignoramus, bro. And he thinks we worship the black Kaaba. You know, Muhammad said... And he goes, I was a Muslim. He goes, I was a Muslim. fast is invalid. We worship the Kaaba, yeah? You worship Muhammad? Kaaba. 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 Blackstone, yeah? You're a jahil, bro. You're a jahil. I bet your family, your family is watching this. You know what, bro? This guy. The reason why. We worship the black Kaaba. Because he was. He humbled himself, right? There's a divine so nature God, so nature. God, God became he humbled himself to represent So God humbled himself to go to the things we did. He had to do the things we did. Even he's embarrassed. How He's wearing parents? a mask to show, show his facial point? recognition. He has to do the things we did. Wait, wait, let me look at this. Bro, what absolute ignoratness. What's your point? The one who created the heavens on the earth cannot being, go to it. Do you believe your God built wait, Mary's vagina? Wait, what's the reference? Okay, do you believe in your God built Mary's vagina? What's the logical That's, inconsistency? One second, one second, one second, one second. What's the logical one second, inconsistency one second. with God, Jesus The one who created the heavens on the earth, God Almighty is a necessary being. He has no beginning, he has no end. He's self-sufficient. Yes, He does not. Okay, when you One second. When you when you are God, can you become, one second, one second, for what reason, are you dependent or dependent when you're having a poo? What? <laughs> are you dependent or independent when you're defecating? Let me explain to you bro, what it means, bro. Can I explain? Simple real. question. Okay. Wait, hold on, let me speak. Are you dependent in, bro, or independent human, when you're in the toilet? Yeah, let me answer you. Yes. Dependency and independency mm. is subscribed to a nature. Because of your nature, yeah. you're dependent. 
because of God's nature, yes. he's independent. Okay, good. Yeah. God so when you're in the toilet, nature, are you dependent or independent? Dependent. Dependent. Good. Yeah. When you are so in the toilet, when, dependent, when you are in the toilet, are you yes. dependent or independent? Dependent on his human nature. Because when you listen to me carefully, listen to me. When you are in the toilet, you know when you're in the toilet, defecating. Are you dependent or independent? Dependent because he was in his human nature. So in the toilet, he was dependent on cleaning himself. In his human nature. So that's why he's thank you. So that's the reason why. That's why. Look, look. Listen, listen. Alhamdulillah. Why is that? Listen, listen. Alhamdulillah. Look, look. Put Islam to a side. One minute. Allah has to come down to his creation. That's why they said. Why is that? That's what one philosopher said. Why does Allah have to come down? He said, when your enemies are look, look. Why? Can you can you explain any logical inconsistency? When your enemies are making a fool of themselves, can you let them talk? Carry on talking. Can you explain any about? metaphysical inconsistency though? Are you smart enough? Are you good enough? You know, Allah can you come explain down any metaphysical every night time to answer prayers? So he is dependent on. Can his you creation. explain you why dependent. God can't become human? Can you explain that? He's limiting God in his nature. What he can, can you explain do, what that? He can't do. He's limiting God. You are asking big question. He can don't you explain know that? Anything. He's limiting God. He's, oh. being, he's being dismantled today. You are asking big question. <laughs> He don't you know, know he's anything. limiting God because Allah has to come down to his creation every night. If, so why if can't Muhammad God come down? was Jahil, why how can, can he be a Ali? smart man? Well, can I ask you a question? Why don't you believe Jesus was God? Why don't you believe in Jesus' resurrection and crucifixion? When there's many disciples who witnessed it, many church fathers, historians who attested to it, then you are man who comes 600 years later, you never saw the event, who had hallucination from black magic, which is written in your sources. So how can you trust all these other revelations? How can you do it, Ali? Now you're conceding, you don't want to talk. No, no, I'm, I'm, just, follow, speechless I'm no. just following that. When he your enemy is making a fool of himself, because just let him talk. Just carry on talking. You are just asking carry on a talking. smart question from a jahil person. It's just written, right? I'll get it up right now. And if he doesn't want to answer this, he has conceded. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. God goes to the toilet, yeah? He has conceded.